And tonight, Aurora City Council members will take up the first reading of a bill that makes deceptive petition practices illegal in that city. Number 7's Micah Smith spoke with one councilwoman about this proposal, stemming from a recent attempt to drastically change the city's management system. We are a minority majority city in which there are lots of people in our community that English is not their first language. And Mosaic Church of Aurora pastor Reed Hedich says when he heard some petition gatherers took advantage of Aurora residents, he was deeply disturbed. I've had a couple times when I've been approached and they've asked me to sign something and they couldn't quite articulate what it was. And I would read through it myself and find out it was something different than what they're portraying. Aurora City Council member Allison Coombs says a recent case gaining a lot of attention involved residents who thought they were signing a petition to change term limits for council members and the mayor. Many people have contacted city council members indicating that they felt they were not given the full story. Coombs says the larger part of the petition was for changing the city's government, including giving the mayor more power over the city's administrators. So Councilmember Gardner had brought forward a provision, just like a kind of one line amendment to our current um, unlawful practices related to petition gathering ordinance. Um, and it would basically just say you can't, a person may not use deceptive practices when gathering a petition. If passed, violators face a $2,650 fine or up to 364 days in jail. But Coombs says the bill doesn't go far enough. Myself and some other colleagues did ask for some kind of language that would make the company that's paying for and training the petition gatherers be responsible versus the individual doing the petition gathering. What I've heard from the petition gatherers is that they're also not being given the full story. Hedich says he's glad city council is stepping in. And I think it's a worthwhile consideration discussion about the form of government that we have. But Hedich says that has to be done in an open and honest way. Reporting in Aurora, Micah Smith, Denver 7. Now the bill passed reading session and has nearly unanimous city council support.